Hi, my name is Tim and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about hydrogen versus electric uh, powered vehicles. Now, without further ado, let's get into this. Okay, so as you all know, uh, electric vehicles have made a huge comeback in the industry and uh, what had happened was... Um, in the early days of uh, the invention of vehicles, uh, there was three types of vehicles, okay? The first one was steam engine powered vehicles. The second one was uh, gasoline powered vehicles. And the third one was uh, electric powered vehicles. Initially, what had happened was uh, electric vehicles were outselling uh, gas powered vehicles. But, uh, evidently, gas-powered vehicles uh, became the dominant force uh, as a result of uh, the rallying of uh, the petrol industry. And it stayed that way until uh, maybe like the late 1990s, uh, where then Toyota uh, decided to release a hybrid vehicle, uh, which would reduce the consumption of gas. And then this was furthered by Tesla, who then established uh, charging networks throughout the nation and then uh, released their electric vehicles. Now, this was not like something that was easily done. Tesla actually almost uh, became bankrupt as a result of uh, what they uh, did uh, with their uh, product line. But in short, uh, today, Tesla is selling a lot of, of vehicles and uh, they're probably one of the best sellers right now. And uh, if history is to be repeating itself, according to this article, uh, hydrogen is going to be uh, a dominant force in the industry. And as you know, uh, uh, there are hydrogen vehicles out there and... Uh, the gas companies like Shell need another way to be able to uh, make profits. And I believe uh, this is uh, what's going to happen is that hydrogen and uh, electric vehicles are going to uh, battle it out. And the, the problem right now is that these are new technologies, okay? Uh, and... Uh, also, electric vehicles only have a certain amount of range. I think, I believe it's like uh, 200 miles or something, or 250 miles. That's their maximum range at this moment. And hydrogen vehicles, uh, there's not enough uh, uh, pumping stations for hydrogen at this moment, which then uh, I believe that uh, in order to make revenue, the gas companies are going to be switching to uh, hydrogen. And um, I believe that they're banking on the fact that uh, of uh, what had happened in the early uh, times of, this in the, of the industry where uh, gas uh, succeeded uh, electric. And that's what they are... Uh, uh, that they're banking on uh they're hoping that hydrogen uh will secede uh, electric once again uh and hydrogen is the replacement for gasoline and gas companies need another uh method of income to be able to uh uh replace the reducing need for gasoline and that is hydrogen so it remains to be seen uh as to which technology is going to uh, be the winner of this uh, of the market, but uh, as of right now, it seems that uh, electric vehicles are really, really taking off, and uh, I believe this uh, this fight for dominance is going to be. Uh, resemblance of uh, maybe uh, Blu-ray versus HD DVD. That's gonna be the way it plays out because 
Tesla has already established charging networks, and hydrogen、uh, cell companies have、uh, not yet established their networks. And is it too little too late for hydrogen fuel cell technology?、Uh, we will have to see how the market responds.、Uh, I personally believe that、uh, electric、uh, fuel cell companies. Or, yeah, electric companies、uh, like Tesla have done a great thing for the market. They've allowed it、uh, to open up and、uh, they've basically、uh, introduced the next stage of commodity for the car industry. Okay, so we've reached the end of the video. If you like this video, please press the like button. If you have any questions or concerns, uh, please uh, write a comment on the comment sections. And do not forget to subscribe. Thank you and goodbye.